here you go. Let me let me point out some uh, let me point out some notable features about this uh, to begin with. First of all, so it's three thousand square feet. That's a if you're not, if not in that's a lot of square footage. That's a lot of square footage. It really is. And uh, uh, I'll leave it to you guys to decide that question. Uh, Chaos Seven. Um, it is three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. I will uh, copy this link and post it in chat for y'all. Um, this is what it looks like on the outside. We gotta, we gotta do a little. Uh, we gotta do a little. Uh, so I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm on uh, the Home and Garden show, which I love, by the way. <laughs> like low key, don't tell nobody. Kind of love it. I would never afford anything on that show, but it is great in some ways. Um, also, there's an obsession with farm door, farm doors that I cannot stand, not even a little bit. And frankly, the Property Brothers' personal opinion, not everything needs to be open plan and not everything should be open plan. But the, my, personal, my personal feelings on the Home and Garden channel aside, let's take a look at this house. So this is the outside of the house. Nice brick veneer, you see. Uh, some patchy grass, which I'm sure could be fixed with a little sod. You know, you definitely want to spend some money to landscape this bad boy. Um, Kentucky, it's in Kentucky. You could you could get some you could do some nice landscaping there. There's plenty of there's plenty of uh, beautiful flowers that grow in Kentucky. Um, this is a blurry picture, but nice one uh, of between the buildings. Then there's this this side of the house. Pretty normcore. Grass looks nicer over here. This is, uh... <laughs> HG Dragoon. Yeah, you want to hear about my house? House building? This is the inside. This... First of all, can we talk about this for a second? They're trying to sell this house, and yet... And yet... There's still a bunch of stuff in here and a f potentially fully functional exit sign um i assure you that will be the least surprising of things that you see tonight <laughs> in this house special house stream yeah so uh they've they've it's an odd choice not to clean the place up first um i think that it'll become really obvious why but this is unusual in a in a show house. I've seen it once before. I have seen a house where they just they were still there and they took pictures and all that jazz. It is unusual though. This definitely unusual. But as I would like to remind you, as it says down here in public remarks, it says church, school, daycare, home business. This home has been it all. This unique home is just what you are looking for. Two kitchens, a private living space, and many more surprises. <laughs> This, this is the understatement of the century. <laughs> this is a must-see. The pictures do not tell the full story. All information provided are only about the first building. There's more than one building. Except for room information. Which is three beds, four baths. It's another blurry photo, but it looks like it's of, you know, an office. Another photo of shelving units a cub some cubbies this little outdoor area got a little porch put your grill out here brick veneer probably get bats in the <laughs> neglectful dating profile right right again probably get bats in between the uh, in between the buildings you know you know how it is uh, probably the back or maybe the outside I don't know why it's Slanted over here. Does it just like disappear? Like, it, was this added on? Did they need an extra door so they just added on? And, Cause look, it looks like it was just ended right here. You know what I mean? Like the house just like went straight down. This drain pipe probably went straight down, and then they annexed on an extra door and a. Something or another. A couple of gas cans sitting outside. Nice trailer, though. Don't know if it comes with the trailer, but we're about to see it again in this picture. Carport. You'll love to see a carport. 
trailer again. This is third picture number three of trailer. You know, little little chair outside of the house. Uh, a bathroom looks kind of industrial, but standard. Another bathroom. Interior hallway, bit bit nasty. You know, tiles whatnot. Real messy, real messy uh, laundry room. Um, nice washer and dryer, though. Looks like they're practically brand new, if not actually brand new. I assume this picture is just to show you, like, the, the heating and cooling. A nice little rack for your cleaning supplies. This, this fire extinguisher looks ancient as fuck. <laughs> like, look at this one, and now look at this one. Was this, this, this looks like it's from the super past. I wonder if they get these serviced annually, or if this one's, like, actually out of service, and that's what this one's for. Because they're on either side of the wall. They've just got one and then the other. Maybe it's vintage by this point, or something. Little extra project potential with that cutoff. Yeah, maybe. Um, looks like they're moving out. You know, they got all these boxes and whatnot. Bit nasty with the cat box there, but, you know, that's how it is. Stuff, pillows, kitchen, refrigerator, collection of CDs. God knows what this is. Some shelving, maybe this is the garage or something. A urinal. Very odd to have a urinal in your house, I must say. But then again, it's been a church, a school, a daycare, and a home business, so maybe not that weird. Um, little sink area. Some... This is the cubbies from earlier. Stacks and stacks of stuff. And we're done. Uh, this is not the house that I wanted you to see, though. It is... Well, it is the house, but it's not... It's not the what I really wanted to show you. I really want to show you the 3D walkthrough. And cross your fingers that it loads and I don't have to log in or anything like that. It did earlier when I tried it, but we shall see. Powered by Matterport presented. Click to explore this 3D space. Alright, so here we are. This is the living room. This is where the cassette, the, the cat box is over there. Here we go. That's like an Ikea lamp. I, I know, because I have one of those too. Old-fashioned school, school-style fire alarm. You know you respect it. it. It's a bit, you know, if I were these guys, I'd have put a wall here or something to hide these wires in the back of this. It's a um, little bit messy. You know how it be in houses, though. It's a little bit messy. Got some nice, uh, nice fall decor here. If anyone knows how to open this door... <laughs> Anybody got the DLC for this uh, for this house game and open this door? I'd be much obliged. Someone's removed the pull for fire. Yeah, I don't think I will. Thank you, though. Monster energy drinks? That's hashtag, <laughs> hashtag relatable content. <laughs> Little kitchen area for playing cards. Ew, uh-oh. Got some problemos. Quality archery designs. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's stuck to the glass, like you're gonna like <laughs> shoot at the glass and then it's gonna just shatter. It's quality archery designs. Now, let me draw your attention to something in this scene. See if you can spot it. Like, the disembodied arm, maybe? <laughs> Very disturbing. <laughs> That's where I keep my disembodied arms, in the closet. Now, this house is super interesting. But I'm not, I'm not, that could, you know, that could happen. I'm not here to make fun of anybody. Like, I'm sure that it was just somebody standing behind the, the, you know, cabinet. And they just caught their arm through it. It's really humorous, though, that it makes it look like a disembodied arm. I'll give it that. Uh, office chair coming apart at the seams. Little office space. Albeit, you kind of have to get back here, way back here. Let's uh, check out the other bedroom while we're here, though. <laughs> Drink a hug. Yep. Look who's here. Kitty! 
We knew they must have one because they had those uh had those things. And an Xbox, yeah. Yeah. A little old fashioned up here, but that's fine. Clothing, chair, normal, but very messy. And once again they're trying to sell this house, but they've left all the stuff in it. Well, I must emphasize, this is not this is not a normal thing. Also the 360 just kinda stays up there. <laughs> it's not even anywhere else, just actually right here. <laughs> Alright, let's let's head down. Alright. Notice that they've carved out a bit of the door because the door I guess didn't fit correctly. One assumes that this is the front door, perhaps. Down we go. Alright. So here's the hallway from the, the opening scene, shall we? Um, let's check out this room. So... There's the rack with the old fire extinguisher, and you'll- yeah, they really are on both sides of the wall. The cat litter box, uh, uh, mini fridge? Is this another fridge on their fridge? Is this a fridge on their fridge? Is this a safe? I mean, I'm pretty good with my appliances, but I'm not 100%. And they've got it. You- Is this- do you think this- is this hooked up? Like, because this would be the where the water would be, because you got the washer right here. Do you think this is hooked up? If so, I don't know- I don't know that I'd recommend drinking from that. It doesn't look super, super sanitary. Uh, women, please knock. So, only the women should knock? Here we go. Okay, bathroom. <laughs> and now, now may I present to you <laughs> double toilets, unknown, unknown post-it note writing, they're taped shut, only one of them gets toilet paper and the other one gets nothing. <laughs> no sign there is ever a wall between these either. I, I want to know what what were they doing in here? What was going on? McDonald's, McDonald's container hairspray. You'll love to see it. A map of, I believe that, I believe that people who have seen this house previously were saying this is Wales. A map of Wales. Uh, let's check out the men's. A urinal with a carpet underneath. Yep. Urinal with a carpet underneath. That. Great. Hey, it's us! We're a sentient camera! That's why you gotta knock. <laughs> uh, cool, cool jade horse. This is a nice little bedroom. Nothing. I mean, like, look, everything looks a little bit. A little bit dinged up, but not too bad. I want to know how to get in that door. Uh, we missed some stuff on our voyage. Um, we did the laundry room. We didn't do that. We're going to save that one for later, because that, I happen to know, goes uh, into a different part of the house, shall we say. Um, definitely, like, they just left their clothes here and everything. Y it makes you wonder... What happened to these guys? Like, surely you would have wanted to take your stuff out of here at least, so, you know, when they're taking pictures, it's not- you're not just taking pictures of all this. Is this a- maybe- this kind of looks like that other thing, and I think that's an amplifier. Maybe that's what it was? Double TVs? With- hey, look, it's us again! That's definitely, uh- this is- this is my favorite item. Oh, you know, we can't see it anymore. Whoop. Is, uh, is, is, is Tiger. Also, this is a cool keyboard setup. Overall, pretty functional room. If a little bit, once again, like, messy and not, not well 
maintained, I suppose you could say. Good for some, though. Hey, Roger that, y'all! We're exploring this house. I am obsessed with this house, as you well know. So I'm demonstrating it to the folks. I posted the link in chat if you would like to see it. Um, if you've already seen it, too bad, we're doing it together. <laughs> we're having a moment here, together. I would like to know, look at this. Bright green handles, dark green sur around it, fairy lights. That's a real aesthetic. Real, uh, truly aesthetic. And now we've got, um, some DVDs. <laughs> some Rice Krispies right next to a rice cooker. Some, some good visual storytelling happening here. Um, pizza boxes. Trash can that's full. These are the discs that we saw from earlier. What we didn't realize, though, is how big this room was and how much stuff was in here. There's boxes on boxes on boxes. Um, these don't have handles? Yeah, no, the... <laughs> the cupboards up here do not have handles, <laughs> unlike these ones, which do have handles. Um, these cupboards are a different type. I don't know why. I don't really know why. Um, yeah, dishes, pizza boxes, some really nice looking bananas, to be honest. Can we look at the bananas again? Yeah, someone just got these. These bananas, I mean. Alright. <sighs> Whatever this is. So, it took me forever to figure this out, but I actually, I think this is, um... See how it says DVDs right here? And CDs? I think this is a shrink wrap station. So you can, like, uh... Or, or, or at least a, like, packaging station, so you can... It's got screws, but this one doesn't even have screws! You just kind of like pry it open. Um, so I think this is a shrink wrap station. Uh, and they use these packages to close to, yeah. Clearly the, they weren't lying about the home business, clearly. All right. So we've got two ways we can go. We can go upstairs with the fan direction, or we can go here with the DNO motor and the topless CD. Um, this looks like their packing area, like, you're keeping their boxes, they're keeping their tubes. Um, Beauty and the Beast, Motocraft, 2017 Topless, Scan Tool, Color Your Own Greeting Cards, <laughs> Kitchen Upgrades, Sleeping Bags, America. Alright, let's, let's go. Alright, we've made it to a bathroom, and, um... Let's check that out. Hey, it's us! The sentient camera! Yep. Psst, good normal stuff. I like how the door just disappeared right there, so we could, like, look. I can't see into this. There could be anything behind this wall. I can't even see back there. Literally anything. You know, ghosts, people, <laughs> more than likely mounds of DVDs. Okay, now, another exit sign, some old-timey, you know, alarms. <laughs> the, the restroom sign is falling down a little bit. Um, this door, this lady's room. They've, there's a bucket to catch overflow from the sink. I'm guessing it probably leaks, I suppose. It's us, sentient camera. Um, can I go in any of these? Or are they closed for- Just cl- <laughs> Unlike the other one, it just closed on me. It's like, no. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's venture- Let's venture into any of these rooms. Let's go over here. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Mm, boy. Okay, we've got... Sh Barbie Shrek? Question mark? 
some things. Betty Boop thing, lanyards. More lanyards, dollar each. I don't know where this, I don't know where we came from or where we're going here. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, well, let's not go there just yet. I'm not yet ready to get hopelessly lost in the, uh, I feel like we're in the tool section of the, uh, well, I mean, I would feel like that, but there's also, like, kid stuff in the Barbie Shrek. I feel like we're in the tool section of the Home Depot. There's, um... CDs and DVDs. If you're just tuning in, we're touring a real- a real life house that is really for sale. Uh, the- 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 the website's right here. I'm gonna repost it in chat. Um... We're taking a look around, you know, if you like what you see, reach out to those guys and I'm sure they can help you uh, with your new home. We've got leprechauns versus Guantamela, Guantamela, leprechaun versus Guantamela. <laughs> I don't know if it's a, what I don't know. I don't know. Oh lord. Stairs, but I don't know if this is I don't know if this is a dead end or not. Um maybe we should get done exploring the What the heck is this? Oh, it's like a partition of some sort. Okay, well, at least we reached a corner. So, I guess let's go. We've passed like two places we can go now, I think. There's one back here that we didn't go through, and there's the stairs. Um, let's, uh, let's just take the stairs since we're right here. We can always come back down, she says with no real confidence. Okay, all right. Um, this is a fluorescent light fixture. I think this is an emergency. Let's leave, please. <laughs> Let's go. I am indeed having an emergency. <laughs> Alright, so these are- we're going upstairs. Now, if you'll recall, we came downstairs to get here. To get at the last place. And now we're going back upstairs. So, all I can imagine is that this is the second building, which they said that they- all details were about only the first building. Um, this is the second building, perhaps, or time and space have lost all meaning, and we're in the DVD, we're in the depths of the labyrinth of DVDs, the DVD labyrinth. This looks like a room, let's go in here. Like a single room. Yep, okay. Is that a tub? Ah, uh, yes. I, too, enjoy keeping my tub in my porno DVD collection room. <laughs> this is- this is- <laughs> this is what I live for. Alright, click the plus button to start a measurement. Click anywhere to draw lines. Ten feet. 10 inches, and that's not even all the way to the end. Hmm, yes. Nope, no thank you. How do I, how do I put this away? Close? Or is that gonna close my 3D walkthrough? I don't know. Okay. Um. Sherlock Holmes. Not any of the new ones, though. I feel like I think we're in DVD. There's some stairs. Just fell into them. Ah, yes, the executive office with the million dollar quartet with a hair dryer in it. <laughs> with a hair dryer in it. <laughs> um. Alright, alright. Swamp People Gator Dane Large.
I feel like I'm taking- Remember how we started! This does not look like it's the same size on the inside as it is- Can I get through this door? Why are there stairs leading to nowhere? What is this? Are we in the- are we in the, like, white zone? Is this the ant- is this the- is this the part that they put on? There's no- it, it disappeared. There's only floor selected. There's no measurement button and now. It's gone. It- it's gone on us. Yeah, uh, secret dead end room? This- is this- this door must go outside. Because, like, it must go outside, because that must be, like, the, the weird annex that we saw on the side of the building. I'm so glad you think so, Chaos 7. I'm so glad. I, I, I thought it did, too. Punk love. Oh, I am trapped. It was a dead end with a single smokestack of Super Croc and other assorted DVDs. <laughs> I'm the DVD labyrinth. Johnny Cash, the Beatles. Some good DVDs here. Oh god. Yep. Alright. Alright. Okay. I mean, there's hinges. It was clearly a door. Yep. Nope. I don't know. Nope. I'm out. This doesn't even have anything in it or on it. Where am I? I've gone into a little corner and I have no clue where I am anymore. This happened to me last time I looked at this, but I didn't- I thought I had seen all the tiny corners. Oh, okay. I did see this last time. Two different games! Look! Two different ones! Some lonely Xboxes. All right, let's get out of the dead end. Let's get out of the dead end. This, let's get out of here. Okay, all right. All right, uh, no. Uh, there's, there's our pole star, the, uh, the executive desk. Have we gone down this aisle yet? Okay, that's the stairs right across from the executive desk. So let's, let's put that in our minds. Um, um, M, M, okay, is this window broken out? It kind of looked like it when I came up here. Okay, we've got stairs down. These are the ones we came up, though. Um, this is weird tub room, yes. Okay. Let's go to the stairs that we saw over here, maybe. I don't know what level we're on. Now we're going downstairs. And I don't think we've ever been down this down these stairs. Exit sign. This house was a victim of console wars. Potentially. Perhaps. Perhaps indeed it was. Okay, here we are in the dead box room. Okay, um, there's the restrooms. That's, that's our other pool. We didn't even go this way. Let's go this way. We've got some stuffed animals. Beanie babies on eBay. Ah, yes. The, the creepy dolls. Um, yeah, it would be- I feel like this wouldn't really be complete without them. Truly. Okay, I got some, uh... Some books. There's something here I- I was meaning to find the next time I came down this way. Here it is. <laughs> Finger soccer. Just stick your hand right in this box and do it! <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Ah, uh, yes. The secret room. With the... Whatever that is. I don't know. 
I don't know. Is, are you are you saying that we should or that we we shouldn't? I I can't tell. Uh, uh, let's go every way that isn't out. I mean, we could try to get out, but the emergency exit's not working. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs. Ah uh, yes, I remember this. Yep. Alright, here's this DVD. We've seen that DVD before. And here's the executive chair. Okay, alright. Alright, we've been down here. Does anybody remember the way out? And do you think we've actually seen everything? Is that all there is to be seen around here? Or is there more? Have we missed some dark forgotten corner? This is the way we came up the first time, so let's go back down. Because presumably our exit is around here. Yes, yes, this is all looking very familiar. We made it back to the restrooms. Whoop woo! Chaos 7, you said what? What, what, what? Are you talking about my let's go every way that it, that you, my response to your let's go every way that isn't out? I couldn't tell if you were encouraging me to go out or to literally not do the thing, not to do that thing. You'll have to tell me. Anyway, we managed to make it out of the basement maze um, and back into a, uh, at least this area. Uh, I think if we didn't see everything in the basement maze, y'all can, uh, y'all can go there and check it out yourselves. Um. In the meantime, though, let's go up the stairs. Uh, back into, uh, back into, uh, back into the living room. Take a little, take a little breather here. Ah uh, yes, back to our, our monsters and the fly. The fly stuck in the fly swatter. And our kitty cat. What is in this? Look how big this is. This has just got to be a little closet, right? That's it? Ah oh, yes, Mr. Cat. <laughs> You're saying what about the creepy box? Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, actually. <laughs> actually what? That has a handle and says finger soccer on it? <laughs> yes, I do have many, many questions. <laughs> I have so many questions. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just a... Oh, what is this? A Nintendo game on the floor. Are these- this, this has got to be father and son, right? I need out. I need out. Out. Oh no, that just closed the ruler. We figured it out. Alright, I'm- I'm good. I'm good. Alright! Oh, goodness. <laughs> um... Thanks for joining me on this wild ride. Um, yeah, if you yourself would like to learn more about this house, or, uh, you know, view it yourself, please, by all means, check it out. Um, if you're not actually interested in buying, I would ask that you don't bother, don't bug the real estate agents. That's just a, that's just a, that's just a PSA. They didn't, they didn't hire me, they didn't tell me to do any of that. Just, uh, I think that would be pretty, pretty dick move. I'm sure they're quite busy. It's a, it's a very popular house to look through. Yeah, this has got a real church vibe. For sure. Look, look how, look at this. You see this? This is from the two toilet room. Um, it's been gently cropped. And, uh, you know, 
That's a good use of photography. All right, let's uh, let's leave our uh, let's leave our incredible house tour behind. I'm so happy to share this with you. Literally, my favorite house. Indeed, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put you on uh, put you on the full screen here while I get the game going. Um, the other game that's not tour this house. <laughs> Part one. <laughs> Part one, can you find your can can you find the following items? Um so when I was uh when I was looking when I found this house the first time, it was in a is in a thread. Um people had posted a bunch of different images of stuff that they'd found in the house, so it became like a a ongoing internet wide scavenger hunt to see if you could use the 3D walkthrough to, like, find all the different items in the house. A lot of them that I showed you were from the scavenger hunt. You know it, Chaos 7. Alright. You guys can probably already hear the sound, because it's always so loud. Let's, uh, let's, uh, 